Hi, I'm Andrew Connect, and I believe that renewable energy is the key to the future. It is exciting to me how innovations in the renewable energy industry make it more and more possible for people to live in a self-sustaining way, protect the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the world we live in. I will be exploring some aspects of Utah's energy sector. First, I will be talking with Wayne Nauman at FlowServe. Hi, I'm Wayne Nauman, the general manager of FlowServe Springville Operations. FlowServe Springville manufactures automated control valves for the process industries, including the energy industries. We provide valves to coal-fired power plants. We provide valves for the transportation and liquefaction of natural gas that is used also in power generation. And we have a number of valves that are installed in solar facilities around the world. So again, Valtech and FlowServe have uh, are involved in power production throughout the, both the state of Utah in a number of facilities here and also worldwide. So there are a number of different career opportunities in the energy industry. Most people associate the energy industry with engineering of some type. Uh, FlowServe employs a number of engineers. When you work for a manufacturer that supplies the energy industry, of course, there's a large number of different functions that are required. You need salespeople to go out and meet with the customers. You need engineers to help specify the product and you need a large manufacturing team to manufacture the products that have been designed for those applications. We're excited, of course, about the alternative types of energies that are being developed and used throughout the world. And so being involved in those energies, uh, those industries, will uh, allow people to have opportunities to, for career growth and career paths that uh, are quite exciting and diverse compared to maybe more traditional engineering work. Okay, now we're going to go talk with my great-grandpa, Doug Smoot. He's been working in the coal industry his whole life, and we're going to see what he has to say about coal and renewable energy. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, Andrew, uh, uh, my name is Dr. L. Douglas Smoot. I have been working in the energy industry all my life. I've spent a good part of my time at BYU, where I was uh, researching heavily in the energy industry and also as Dean of Engineering for a long period of time. I have a PhD from University of Washington and have been involved technically uh, all my life. It's very important to me. Energy, uh, particularly fossil energy, uh, is my field. Could you tell me how you've been involved with energy in Utah? Most recently I was appointed, uh, among others, by uh, uh, Governor Gary Herbert uh, to serve on the committee that wrote, planned and wrote Utah's 10-year energy plan. Oh, if I'm recalling that might be three years old, and I also recall it might have been updated a year or so ago. In this field on coal, I have written uh, four books which have been published uh, by national publishing companies, uh, and coal has been the major focus. How does renewable energy uh, impact coal production? Uh, uh, having a wide variety of methods of generating energy is very, very important. And the use of uh, hydroelectric, which is a renewable, is very important. Uh, another course is the two that get most attention now are wind and sun. They do represent uh, useful resources. However, the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. And so that presents some really challenges of meeting large, high percentages of what you need for energy from those two sources only. And they're both particularly solar, much more expensive. Research is going on and costs will come down. It's my view that neither one of those can ever replace all of the energy we need because they're not what we call base load. They are not always available. And you have to have heavy base load. Best base load sources are coal, natural gas, and nuclear. Now as coal disappears, the public will be required and research companies and production companies will produce something to take its place. We have to. And uh, they're likely to be more and more of the uh, renewable resources. Uh, my own judgment, my own opinion, and I work in this area, is that there, uh, there will be a balance of hydroelectric and wind and solar and fossil fuels and nuclear, which will have to somehow continue uh, to meet our demands in the future, as we also uh, are required to meet the federal regulations. I've really had a great time with this project. 
and learn so much about the energy industry. It's huge. It affects Utah jobs and life in so many ways. Honestly, one of the things that I find most exciting is that it's just changing so much year after year. So many people and so many businesses are investing a lot of time and a lot of ideas and a lot of money to find solutions that are making a huge impact on the way we live and how well we live. From wind turbines to solar panels to geothermal, hydroelectric and biomass, it really is an exciting time in the industry and especially renewable energy. You know, maybe for me today there's not a ton I can do to help develop new technologies and protect our world, but there are many things that I can do to be a better steward of the energy I personally use. I'll take the front runner on my next day instead of driving, and I'll start turning off the lights in my house like my dad keeps telling us to. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed creating it. Thank you for considering it for this scholarship. Pretending day by day that someone somewhere will soon make a change. We all a part of God's great big family and the truth. You know 